Hi everybody! Uh, I'm back today on Friday uh, with another story. Um, but first, I do have a quick update. Starting next week, my videos with stories will be posted on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday instead of every day. Uh, just to make sure I can keep going because I'm starting to run a little low on books. Anyhow, so I will still do it three days a week and we can have a story together on those three days. Um, and today's story is kind of a fun one. It's one that we can sing and, and dance to. Uh, I can't really get up and dance, but I can tell you the moves and I'll do them as best that I can with you because it's so important to keep our bodies moving, especially when it's hard to get outside and run around. We want to make sure that we're, you know, doing our best inside to keep moving, keep having fun. So that's why I chose this story today. And today we have... If You're Happy and You Know It, by Jan Ormerod and Lindsay Cardner. Oh, so this one, I think you might know that song, If You're Happy and You Know It. So let's do it together, and I will do the actions as best I can, and where I can't, you get up and do them at home, okay? Get your body moving. If You're Happy and You Know It. One day, a little girl felt happy, so she sang, If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Mm. No, 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 said the small brown dog. If you're happy and you know it, wave your tail, swirl, swirl. So I can't really do that while I'm sitting, but you get up and you swirl your tail. If you're happy and you know it, swirl your tail. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, swirl your tail. My tail is rather insignificant, said the elephant. So insignificant means like small. The elephant doesn't have a very big tail. So the elephant says, I sing, if you're happy and you know it, flap your ears. If you're happy and you know it, flap your ears. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, flap your ears. Ridiculous, cried the crocodile, whose ears were very small indeed. Well, that's right, crocodiles don't have a big ear like an elephant. So the crocodile has a different way to show he's happy. If you're happy and you know it, snap your teeth. If you're happy and you know it, snap your teeth. If you're happy and you know it, flash those big white teeth to show it. If you're happy and you know it, snap your teeth. <laughs> or clack your beak, called the toucan. Also, the toucan doesn't have teeth, it has a beak. So when the toucan's happy, it says, if you're happy and you know it, clack your beak. If you're happy and you know it, clack your beak. If you're happy and you know it, snip and snap your beak to show it. If you're happy and you know it, snap your beak. Ah, oh, pathetic, said the gorilla. Oh, the gorilla doesn't have a, a beak. So what does the gorilla do? Let's see, if you're happy and you know it, beat your chest. If you're happy and you know it, beat your chest. Boom, boom. If you're happy and you know it, thump your chest. To show it if you're happy and you know it, thump your chest, thump, thump. Hip hop, said the kangaroo. Oh, that's right, kangaroos are really good at hopping. So again, this is one I can't do because I'm sitting reading to you, but you should get up and hop like the kangaroo, okay? Uh, if you're happy and you know it, jump and bump, jump, jump. If you're happy and you know it, jump and bump, ping, pong. If you're happy and you know it, boing. Boing along to show it if you're happy and you know it. Jump and jump around. Boing, boing. There you go. If you're happy and you know it, shouted the parrot, you should screech. Oh, so this is a loud one. The parrot likes to be loud when it's happy. If you're happy and you know it, you should scream, Yahoo! If you're happy and you know it, you should scream, Yahoo! If you're happy and you know it, you should screech and yell to show it. If you're happy and you know it, you should screech, Yahoo! The hyena giggled. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, have a laugh, ha ha! If you're happy and you know it, 
They ha 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 ha. If you're tickled and you know it, chortle, cackle, chuckle, titter. If you're happy and you know it, laugh along. He <laughs> he. Wow. That hyena is a silly animal. It's kind of like what we do when we're happy. We laugh too a lot of the time. So when I'm happy, laughed the little girl, I can do my own thing. That's right, they all cry. Oh, they all have different ways of showing that they're happy. So they're going to do their own things to show it. When you're happy and you know it, do your thing. When you're happy and you know it, smile and grin. Beat your chest and flap your ears. Clack your beak and snap your teeth. Giggle, screech, boom, boy, and do your thing. Yahoo! Wow, so all those animals had their own way to show that they are happy. Some of them were a little silly for us, like the gorilla was beating the chest and the elephant was flapping the ears. But some of them were kind of like what we do, like the hyena that was laughing or the parrot saying, Yahoo! Sometimes we say words like that when we're happy or excited. What do you do to show that you're happy? I know that when I'm happy, usually I smile and sometimes I laugh um, and I just, oh, maybe I put my hands together. Oh, I'm so happy. But yeah, so why don't you think about how you show that you're happy? Oh, oh my goodness. Look, look who came to visit right at the end. It's my kitty Mona. I wonder how Mona shows that she's happy. You know cats, actually. I know how cats show that they're happy. They will purr. You pet them, and then they will start to make a sound, like, Arr. and they purr. That's how they show they're happy. All right, well, I'll see you next Monday, and bye from me and Mona. Bye-bye.